Hey guys, it's Q.K here, and today's video I'm going to be presenting my pets. You're all probably thinking, yeah, this is just another little pet shop video, but really, it's actually not. In this video, I will be showing you my real pets. And that is why my mascot today is a hermit crab, because today I will be talking about my hermit crabs and other information about other hermit crabs. So, let's begin. Hello, these are my hermit crabs. For today, you'll be learning about information about hermit crabs. I will not give you their names because I uh, privacy reasons, but otherwise, these are my hermit crabs. Now, today we're gonna start off with gender. Now, these two are both boys. And how I know that, I will show you in a minute. Okay, so basically with these guys, hello, is that, sorry the camera is terrible, but if you look really closely, these guys have fur on their legs. Now that is one sign that these guys are male. Another sign is color. Now, yeah, these guys are red, yes, ish, but they're more of a like, brownish color and uh sorry more of a dull duller color so these guys are male oh my gosh no come back here no you stay in the pen stay also these guys are supposed to be smaller than regular female hermit crabs females are bigger have no hair and are more colorful this guy, as you can see, less colored, and got hair, and small. Next is eyesight. This cage is blue and green for a reason. Hermit crabs can only see in blue and green colors. Otherwise, their world is gray. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Stop. Okay, stop that. Stay in the cage. Hermit crabs, because of their the way their eyes are, is they can see in many in many ways. Like, look, they can see all around. Hey, let go of me with your little leg. Ow. Now, I've had these guys for at least so. This is coming up on year three but a normal lifespan for a hermit crab is about 70 years old. So these guys can live for a long time and they can grow to the size of being as big as a coconut. Like, they can get really big. Now, you can tell their age by on their claws. Okay, this guy's not gonna move. So, I know it might be a little bit difficult, but kind of like trees, hey, yo, Help me out here. So kind of like trees, the little ridges on their claws, you can count their years. So probably about, um, I don't know, let's see. Four years, about. So that's how you can tell their lifespan. Another thing is that <laughs> it's gonna sound really weird, but like starfish, hermit crabs, if you let's just say pull their claws or legs off, they will regrow it back. It might take a while, but it will regrow. Other information is that once a hermit crab's like grows as they get bigger, so do their shells. So these guys, when they molted, they actually switched shells, so this guy used to be in here, and, well, this guy used to be in here, but due to a certain sickness that I will get onto later, he got a little bit smaller. If you ever really like to watch um, videos on animals, you should ch totally check this one out. If a 
and ever you watch that video, you'll see how cool hermit crabs can actually really get. A hermit crab diet is actually pretty simple. It's just like you and I, they're omnivores. And this is gonna sound pretty creepy, but they're also cannibals too. They will eat each other, but gladly, these two have gotten along. So they haven't eaten each other yet, and I hope they never will. Now, these hermit crabs, I believe, came from Florida, only because of the place that we got them. It's because of their, like, claws. If you see, they're kind of, like, purplish. If you go to Florida, these guys, these guys will probably be more popular. And so, I believe, because <laughs> you're probably going to be pretty surprised, we got these guys from a carnival, and this is going to be year three we've had them. So... Also, another place they could have gotten them is from the Caribbean, but I don't believe so because of the place where I live. So, I believe they're mostly from Florida. Well, I hope you liked the video and got more interesting information about hermit crabs. And I hope you got surprised that this video was actually going to be on actual um, animals instead of littlest pet shops. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed my real life hermit crabs. So thank you everybody and hit the like button and subscribe. See ya! Oh shoot, <laughs> forgot. There's actually a little bit more left of this video. Sorry I said, oh, I hope you liked it. But um, I know I said that there was a sickness about my one hermit crab. Yeah, they're both in the cage now. And it's actually because of mites. Now, mites, um, like, they're like these pesky bugs that like crawl all over these hermit crabs and will like kind of like um, eat them and stuff. And it's a sickness only hermit crabs can get and it can get pretty bad. So what I do is like, if you ever do get into my situation with your hermit crabs, is put them in fresh water. Like, if you don't do that, then the mites will like stay because mites like damp and warm places, it's really gross. So the sickness nearly killed him, but because we like reacted fast, we actually got to save him. One more thing I forgot in this video is that um, right now I'm going to share my, um, uh, links to, uh, my sources of where I got my information, but anyways, now I really hope you liked the video, so, bye bye